Hey guys, Jerry here, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband with the Flores expansion. Today, we are gonna start out. Start out. I need to speak properly. We need to start out by having a little look at our situation because it's been a while since I've recorded this, so I'm I'm kind of not really up to date with the, um, how the situation is here. So, inventory-wise, we have some pretty decent lightish armor. Um, got a good fast horse. We have a bow. We have arrows, sword and sword and board, of course. Uh, our character. Let's see. At the moment, we are level 16. We have a point to spend, so we can level up. Uh, let's actually just do that. We can. We have a bunch of skill in power draw, which is the bow skill. Um, we're pretty good at using shields. Pretty good at riding. Um, horse archery could use a point, though. Like um, horse archery and riding, uh, those skills they um, su um, suffer minuses when you're in when you're in heavy armor. Uh, we have a bonus to prisoner management for some reason. Uh, otherwise, we're pretty good at trading. We can persuade people a bit. We're not too good at pathfinding, spotting that sort of thing. We have nothing in wound treatment, but hopefully um, we should have a companion that takes care of that. So let's just quickly see at our party here. We have. Uh, a bunch of random troops. Most of them seems to be serenades. We have uh, one. Oh, we got a couple of people, but they're just kind of hiding. Uh, let's move them up here actually, so they can get some experience. Um, we have Odval and Borcha and Jeremus. Uh, well, Jeremus is our uh, surgeon. We have Odval, who has foraging at the moment. I don't know what else. And Borcha, who is Get it, becoming an engineer, the sort of thing, all the, all the stuff that has to do with um, these skills. Uh, so that's st stuff based on intelligence. So he's, a, he's a clever guy. At the moment, our quest log says that we need to. Um, we still have this very old quest that we need to kind of hand in and say, well, we failed, and then we have a tournament invitation. But at the moment, I am not near the tournament. I'm in Suno. Uh, finally, uh, let's see, reports our character and companion. Hold on, we can actually see most of its character report. I have 282 renown. I have no honor at all. Um, and my right to rule is zero. I have one friend, apparently. And I'm a m member of the Serenade Sultanate faction. Uh, I don't know any ladies. Let's see, weekly budget. I'm losing a lot of money. Because I'm not getting any money from my village. Um, I actually should mention this. Um, after I lost the village, um, I, it got given back to me when the uh, uh, Serenades took back the castle here. So I got my village back. It's still mine, um, but uh, because it's looted at the moment, there is um, no rent for it, so it doesn't help at all with my budget. So I am losing money at a rapid pace. Which is why I've been trading a bit. Uh, let's see other things. I have a lance, a sword. I should actually, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start using this instead. Um, I like that it has the longer range, longer reach. Um, but yeah, the reason I'm in Suno actually is um, like I, I left off here because I discovered an inn here in the tavern. There is no uh, mercenary or ransom broker which I had hoped for, but there is this guy, a farmer. My lord, you look like a man of the sword and someone who could help us. Will you hear my plea? What are you babbling about, peasants? Speak out! A band of brigands have taken refuge in our village. They take everything we have, force us to serve them and do us much evil. If one of us much breathes a word of protest, they kill the poor soul on the spot right away. Our lives have become unbearable. I risked my skin and ran away to find someone who can help us. Yeah, well... Yeah, let's, let's help him. Uh, so the village is Rulunz. 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 Which is right here. We should be able to do that pretty efficiently. We have... Uh, we got a lot of good soldiers here. I'm just going to move the, uh, the good soldiers up here a bit. Uh, one of the reasons I have all these, um, I have some like C5s and h 5 and such, um, has to do with me freeing them from bandits of various kind. Also this guy. Get him up there. 
And then hopefully when we get up here, let's see. We actually are we at war with anyone? I need to know that. We are at war with the Rodox. Okay, the green guys. So I'm gonna lose my village again soon enough. Good to know. So the village looks very poor and desolate. Some farmers and animals are in the fields, and there are 31 mountain bandits. Well, we can't have that, can we? Poor villagers. You know what? I'm actually gonna abandon my horse here. Um, and then we're gonna try some tactics. Because um, oh, th they are right there. Infantry charge. And archers, we need the archers to stand over here, away from it all. Uh, there's a lot of farmers dying. Yeah, there's a lot of farmers dying. Ow! Alright, I'm not doing too well right now. <laughs> okay, that was a pretty... Pretty pissed bust out. At least we got people to charge in, uh, so they should finish the battle soon enough. It was all only mountain bandits, not too bad. Although we did lose our mounted horseman, mount uh, horse archer. Can we? What are they chasing? Oh, this one. Two two little guys. Gonna get knocked from behind. All right. Well, my people managed to win that for me, so that's pretty good. Um. I failed miserably. I was also wounded, so that doesn't really help anyone. Um, so, yeah, we drive the bandits away, and they offer what they have. Now, we saw this village was not really that rich in the first place, so they don't have much to offer. So I'm just going to refuse this. That's also going to give me a bit of honor. Um, and of course now they love me, or they like me a bit more. Um, one of the really cool things about uh, these villages when they start liking you is that not only do they have more um, units for you to recruit, or like more, more volunteers for your campaigns and such, um, if you're good enough friends with them, you could even get like um, extra, um, like upgraded units already, uh, units that are already upgraded. I need to speak properly. So that's um, also pretty cool. So let's see, food-wise, we're pretty good. Let's get rid of this rotten pork and replace it with some cheap bread. Um, and... Actually, hold on just a moment here. Am I... what... can I... It looks as though the interface is much bigger than I remember it, but uh, it might just be me. I don't see anything in here. No. I think it's, I think it's just me remembering wrong. Anyway, uh, what do we need to do? I think we should try and get this quest out of the quest log because I'm tired of fa of having this. He's the Lord of Drama Castle. Um, and seven th 17 days ago he was um, captured. Drama Castle is up here. So let's go through Dirim. Actually, Dirim is an enemy city at the moment. Uh, the green guys are our enemies, of course. So we need to kind of try and steer clear of those. Even though, like in Dirim, uh, I have some land that I would love to go and collect the rent on. I think there should be some rent ready to pick up there, but um, since we're at war with them, I'm not going to risk it. So let's go Drama Castle, see if anyone's home. Is he here? Hello? 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 Mm, there is someone, yeah, I think that's him. Boya Dolor Meleza. Yeah, I'm afraid he's got away. So now he doesn't like us anymore. But uh, at the very least, we don't have that in our quest log. Now, we have the option. We can either attend a tournament in Dukuba, which is all the way up here, um, and then potentially gain a bit of renown and some money and such. Or we can go and get... Uh, I think we should go and find a, um, a ransom broker, because I'm tired of having 20 prisons on me. That's a lot of um, money that I can potentially get from a ransom broker. So I'd love to get rid of those. Besides, I can't capture any more as long as I have them. Mercenaries? Anyone upstairs, I wonder? That's one thing I've been really poor at. Um, actually checking upstairs in these various taverns. Sometimes stuff is up there. 
But no, and I don't have any land here. Actually, where do I have land? Can I see a report on that? Um, financial report. Yeah, balance uh, theorem and Cherise. All right. So Cherise will have some money for me and Dirim has, but I can't really get into Dirim. Um, let us just keep looking for a uh, ransom broker for now. Kurav, do they have anyone? Uh, there's the guy. Yep, sell all of them. 1700 dinars. And that guy is also um, someone I think that you can get to recruit. What is he? He's an engineer. Uh, let's see. Well, yeah. Let, let let's get him on board. So we have an engineer. Uh, that'll be good once we need to start taking castles and such. Um, it it'll be a while, granted, but um, it, it's it's good to have him with us, even if it's just for the day. Anyway, uh, I am losing my mind here. All right, let's see. Anything interesting to buy here? Cheap first fine tools. They look really expensive. I don't think that's actually a good trade by any means of the world. So we need to find something to do to further our course. Now, uh, the helping villagers thing, getting honor, is a really good idea. So is um, basically fighting in the war. That belongs to no one. And um, fighting in the war also gives us the option of um, potentially making a lot of friends and also gaining honor. Because... Um, of course it's payday. Uh, as a lord of a thief, you can now appoint a chamberlain who resides at your court for a weekly salary of 15 dinars. He will handle all financial affairs like collecting and determining taxes, paying wages and managing your estate. Yeah, let's, let's just hire one. Um, I don't have a court because I don't have a castle. So, I can't actually talk to him, but um, I'm, I'm not sure if I'll get that prompt again. So I'm just gonna, yeah, go ahead. So if we could find somewhere where there's fighting going on um, between the Serenids and the Rodox, and then uh, save some Serenids who are getting attacked and defeat the Rodox. Okay, well, fight against the war. It's now our mission. Let's see, Quadi Favio, the Quadi Favio, I guess. He's close to Rushdick. Uh, Rushdick, where is that? I think it's like over here somewhere. But actually, oh yeah, right there. So we should be able to find him. I'm guessing he's gathering his ar his army. Uh, that's not fun. A road dog raiding party. Hopefully our friends is up, are up here. Are you? Hey, Marshall. Excellent. We are ready to join you. We are with the marshal. Ooh, that guy. We could do. We could totally defeat that that guy. Um, I want to defeat this guy. We are faster than him as well, so we can do it. Hold on, I'm just quickly gonna equip my lands instead because I think this is gonna be a battle where a horse is gonna be a good thing. I am Jerry the Penguin, sir. And I say this only once. Plan your battle with the enemy. Interesting. Alright. Can I actually... Hold on. Initial... Um... Hold. Forward 10. And forward 10. And then make shield wall. Archers, um, I want you to hold position. Spread out and form ranks. Cavalry, I want you to follow me. Weapon orders, uh, standard. Okay, right. Dispatch orders. Enough planning. To battle! Let's see if this actually. Uh. See? 
We have infantry there, we have archers rushing ahead. Um Archers. Uh could you go up there on that hill please? Infantry, go down there. This is a very little uh, tiny battlefield actually. Um Archers, why are you not listening to me? You're not doing your jobs. Alright, um infantry charge. Let's just get this over with. Cavalry charge as well. Um, I'm hoping that you won't just stand in a line somewhere. Oh, the, all these all these hills. I can't get get any speed uh, for lance couching. That's actually a problem, uh, considering that uh, I, I decided to drop my weapon for a lance. I have a bow, of course. Uh, I could I could just try and shoot them from horseback, but the thing is. Yeah, that's the thing. And I have a land right now, so I need to find a weapon! Or find friends. Friends! Friends! Yes. Alright. Um, sword. Give me a sword. That's alright. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on with these battlefields. They seem really, really, really tiny to me all of a sudden. Like, they were on me immediately. Can I keep this? I want to keep this horse. Can I just, like, steal this horse? Or that one. Leather war horse. Interesting. Um, so I lost 14 units. There are 5 slave hunters. I mostly lost mercenaries. I'm, I'm not too bothered about that. And I got some prisoners. Some of them pretty valuable, actually. Um, like that, that was just such a terrible battle, really, for me because, well, they were on me immediately. My archers were not doing the following the the orders, and um, well, everyone else was just kind of running around like <laughs> idiots. Um, but at the very least, we got a new helmet. That's kind of slightly better than what we had. All right. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, you are running from these guys. I'm not quite sure that we could actually even together could defeat them. Because I've suffered quite a bit here. Um, you know what, I'm gonna... Sorry, dude. We need, we need backup and we don't have it. Do we have... A ransom broker in here? Yes, we do. Alright, let's get rid of that. Some Amazons, some more mercenaries. Uh, I'm so tempted to hire some of those, uh, some of those sometimes because they, well, getting some uh, some soldiers, some good soldiers uh, immediately. That's pretty convenient. But like, yeah, right now I just kind of wish I could save this guy up here. But um, considering that the the quality of troops that they have and the quality of troops that he has. It's not gonna go well for me. Um, they have so many good infantry and cavalry, and he has over half his strength are um, like level two units, so not 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 good at all. So let's stay out of that. I know that it's my mission to follow him, but no one else is, so it's kind of depressing, really. That he's gonna get his ass kicked so badly. Yeah, so we completed the quest because he's now been taken prisoner. And now the Sultan wants to, ser uh, to celebrate with a feast and a tournament. Well, we are already in the town, so I'm guessing we can join the tournament. Uh, let's change the tournament options a bit. Uh, difficulty... Four teams, four members. And let's not go with the bow and arrow, let's get an enhanced armor and the lantern shield. Alright, fight. See if we can get this going. There's a bunch of easy pickings over here. And then there's this guy, Mike 
the lens, of course, doesn't couch fast enough. Whoops. Ow, that was a lot of damage. 52? What did he, what did he hit me with? That's what I want to know. And that's the horse, that's not him. It's going around in circles here. That's the horse as well. Can we actually hit anything that's not, not the horse, please? There we go, that's a point. Now, where is... where are the rest of them? That's one guy. And the other guy's chasing us. Um, we have no health at all. Neither us or our horse. So we need to kind of be a bit careful here with this. There we go, that's a point. And now if we can find this guy. Somehow I managed to del deliver free damage to him there. I guess we could we could do this this little silly trick again. Just kind of follow him around <laughs> and wait until he pauses enough. All right, he was actually the uh, the engineer we hired. Nice. All right, a bit of experience, a bit of renown, always good to have. Just keep fighting, just keep fighting, just keep fighting. I'm. He had. To, he just had to move. One of the, the the good things about having a lot of companions is that they're normally lower level than you. So if you're in a tournament and they're there as well, they can be become pretty easy kills. Um, now, of course, if you're in a tournament where they're on your team, then it's a bigger issue. How did I not hit that? And we're not quick enough to dodge. Like if if they if they could hit each other, that would be great. Great. But no, unfortunately not. All right, let's see. What do we have left? We have the guy running there. We have a horseman behind us. Let's see if we can turn around without getting stabbed. We hit a bunch of the uh, <laughs> the target dummies. That's helpful. Ow! Come on, can we get unstuck, please? All right, I guess it's gonna be a proper joust here. Um, can we somehow manage to outmaneuver him? That's the tricky thing. That's his horse. Alright, that should make it easier. A bit of horse, horse damage there. Horse charge damage. Not enough to kill him, but... Neither is that. Come on, I need you... Just fall down, fall over. That's my horse. And I actually found out uh, this mod has a um, shield bash, but that's not really gonna help me a lot when my shield is broken. Ah, <sighs> well, we're still in the lead of the tournament, so let's just keep going. Yellow team has three archers this time. Get rid of him. Get over here and see if we can save our guy. We couldn't. Can't get rid of that horse. Come on, where is everyone? Like everyone's just hiding in this little corner. And I'm not hitting anything. It's, it's, that's an issue. And um, this game does have one big flaw. I don't think I've mentioned this before, but um, basically there is... While the, uh, the weapon hit detection and such works generally okay, um, there is no such thing as collateral damage from like um, a big swing. If you have a big axe and you swing it in a wide arc, you will only ever hit one enemy. You, there is no way in hell that you can make it um, 
chop off the arm of one enemy and then go into the next one. It it just the physics engine just doesn't support that. So that's one of one of my big hopes for the the sequel. Um, that that they get that fixed so that basically your weapons damage what they hit, and are not artificially limited by only being able to hit one enemy. Bah. Alright, this tournament is dragging out a bit. Can we get it done, please, guys? What? Miss. Absolutely nothing getting in there. Whoa! Nice swing. Damn. That guy is badass. Ah, impressive. Um, I am most impressed by that. And a bit terrified. And quite sad, of course, that I lost this round. Fiercest competitor. Guardsman Jack. Handsome Jack. Next round. Again, if we can get a quick point in, that would be great. But nope, we're gonna get stuck. Oh, come on! Alright. Anyone still alive that I... or... I need, I need to find someone's... find, find a weapon somewhere because this is just too silly. Oh, Gatsman Jack is on my team now. Excellent. Um, I thought it was a horse over here. Is there a weapon underneath, maybe? Nope. Can I grab... Yeah, great sword. It's better than nothing. And now let's just quickly get rid of him. All right, I think we actually won that. Yeah, nice, excellent. Um, I am s rank two now. It's the final round. I need to do well with the lands here because I, like, I've, I'm putting all my eggs in one basket here in terms of the lands. So that's that's uh, one of my issues. Um, I need to do well with the land, and when I don't, um, I'm gonna get knocked out and lose my score. Ah, I was not quick enough to do that. Alright, um, I'm probably gonna have to settle for second or third place then. It's a shame. So, who's gonna win this round? Green team looks to be doing pretty well. Sir Pascal, yeah, he's getting a lot of points, whoever the hell he is. And then there's the little... Yeah, one one blue guy just trying to run away with his tiny crossbow. Ah, uh, he's, he's done. He's done for. Finish. Oh, I actually did get first place. Impressive. Uh, that has to have been because the Cartman Jack didn't get any points in last. So I got a horse, I got a, a bit of money, some experience, and some renown. And I guess we can now go to the feast. Talk to people. There is no one here! This is the worst feast ever! Ooh, who's, who are you, sexy? I think you're the wife of the... And she's sister to Shaq, do not like him. Alright, she is not the wife of anyone. Interesting. But, um, yeah, let's, let's not pursue any sort of courtship at the moment. Leave that for later. Um, actually, let's leave it all for later, because this episode is dragging on for a while now. I'll see you next time.